licking my drip, licking my wrist. AP got me sick. You could go blind, stop staring at it. I'm killing these beats, someone get a make kick. I'm with two baddies, they lit just like Megan. That me. So I just, in this brush is the Echo Tools. Full brush. Y'all can tell my lips give a natural ombre. Some girl in my comments was like, your lips are like that because you use Vaseline, bitch. I mean, not to call you a bitch, I'm sorry. But I was born like this. It's just my lips. Okay. That is the end of my everyday makeup routine. It's giving natural, but it's giving bad bitch. It's giving, you look good, but I can't tell the difference. You normally don't look like this, but you don't look different. You know what I'm saying? It's just enhancing the natural beauty. Hola, chicas. It's your mommy. I'm joking. <laughs> Why? Every time. This is one thing. There's nothing I really dislike about myself. But one thing is when I do that. Like, when I say something that's funny and I be like, I'm joking right after. Like, I hope, like, y'all know I'm joking. Like, I don't know why I do that. Let's break that habit. But this is going to be the fastest everyday makeup routine y'all have ever motherfucking seen in y'all's life. Let me back up because my head keeps on getting cut out. But this is my everyday makeup routine. I already got my lashes on. I mean, there's plenty of um, videos on how to put on eyelashes. I can make another one if y'all want. But let's get it. Let's, let's get to the point. I know a lot of people put on their eyelashes last. I use black lash glue and I'm the type of bitch to get that shit everywhere. So I was like, let's not make mess up the makeup trying to put on some lashes. So let's just do the lashes first and if I get some black shit on it, I could just wipe it off. You know what I'm saying? And not have to like start over with anything I already did. But normally I take a spoolie, dip it in some edge control. Yes, it's edge booster edge control. And I brush I brush my brows. Okay, and when I brush them, I just want to make sure because my brow hair be going down and it be looking so stupid and I hate it. So I just need something to make it stick in place. Like, of course, you can use a brow gel, but what's the fun in that? But I like how my I like to do my eyebrows like with the front kind of like up. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, you see how the front is up. It's not all just like laid down. So I like to do the front up and out. Up and out. And then I take some makeup mover wax and get like the cake up. Let me stop. This is too detailed. But I just get the cake up like product that's already on there and just wipe it on a makeup wipe. And I take my e.l.f. brow gel and this is also an e.l.f. duo pencil. I got some black stuff on the side of my face, y'all. I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's get that off. Don't really know what that was about. But thought I was tripping for a second. Definitely wasn't. So, I take the Elf Duo Brow Pomade? Is it called Pomade? I don't know. And then I take the cap and I just like make the how to like flat on the brush and like wiping the excess off also at the same time so i'm just pressing it against the lid kind of so then i don't start all the way in the front like i start like right here and i draw a line but yeah i do my eyebrows real natural so don't be expecting like too much because I don't like, like, I want to look like I have nice, clean eyebrows. Like, I don't want to look like I just drew on my eyebrows, if that makes sense. Like, that's not the point. You don't want it to, like, you just drew them shit on. You want to look like it just got done. Well, that's me. Some people like it to look like, wow, I can tell she got makeup on her eyebrows. But, not me. But... With that being said, like, why would you do your makeup in hopes to look the same? Not saying, like, I'm not trying to, like, bash anybody that does their eyebrows dramatic. Because, like, some people don't have eyebrows. And that's okay. But I do. So, if I were to, like, OD on this, 
my eyebrows would just look black as fuck. That's how they used to look, black and blocky. You just learn from your mistakes over time. So, did that, did the top, did that, did the top. Then I take some from the lid. I don't dip back in the thing. And I go real lightly in between. And then real, 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 real light in the front. Like barely touching the eyebrow type shit. And then do the same thing to the other side. And once you do that, I take the back of the spoolie and I blend everything in so it's not like any like harsh lines that you can just see. Yeah. And then I just see you at the front again just in case. And then to the front. Okay, so after we do that, I take the Mm. this deep hydration refreshing eye serum and I put it anywhere I'm gonna conceal so under the eye under the brow mm, on the forehead on the bridge of the nose on the chin I don't OD and honestly, it's a like tiny tube, but if you only use like dots, it'll last you a long time because it's kind of expensive. Like I think it was $20 for that little bitty bottle. But if you use it for like its purpose, I swear I had that bottle for like three, three months. I'm not gonna lie. Probably longer. Definitely longer actually. So yeah, if you're not ODing with it, it'll last you a while. So it's like worth the money, but if you OD, and it's gone in a week and it costs twenty dollars just for that yeah it is a waste so just make sure and i basically use that as like a a primer i guess you could say so after that i take this um la pro girl concealer and i put it under my eye and i barely squeeze it like i just take like reminiscent products and just put it on my eye you don't want to do too much or it's just going to be too much you feel me it's going to be too much like you see it's not cake cakey like it's just on my eye if that makes sense so then i take my lovely real techniques 200 brush and i spray it with some mario Badescu. i don't put water on it but i use this and then i Again, this is like a real natural everyday thing. Like, it's definitely a difference, but it's not hitting on like face beat type shit. But that makes sense because it's everyday. So I just blend that in. And I do like a stippling motion. When I get close to the waterline or whatever you want to call it. Possible. That's possible. I don't know why I be skipping words. Like, why did I just do that? And then you want it to blend like out for real, for real. Like you want it to blend out for the most part. And I just do this because it's not really to color correct because my eyes aren't dark underneath, but it's really to just add some like color to like blood is like going through my veins. Cause you don't like, sometimes makeup be given real casket ready. Like there's no blood flowing underneath your skin, like you're dead. And I don't like that. So I feel like this helps with that. I like a nice, not really bronzy look, but glowy, summer, not dead, basically. Not dead. And that helps with it. So once that's blended, I take my Fenty Beauty Concealer. It's in the shade 430. And... I wipe the access off on the side like this because I don't like, I don't need hella like product on my face. And I line my eyebrows. Okay. Ooh. 
and I don't do the top because people have told me not to do the top um that's for the year. I don't know the reason. They say it makes it like your eyebrows are floating. Most people go in it, um, go at the top with foundation. But I have foundation, but I don't really feel like it. I don't really ever do that. So then I do my nose, my chin, forehead. And then under eye. But I'm going to do the under eye last because I'll be wanting to blend my under eye out like right after I do it. Spray a little bit more Mario for the one time. And I start by blending out the eyebrow first. So I just like go down. So it's just like really blending it out underneath. Don't be scared to get on the eyelid, y'all. Sometimes, like, I purposely wanted to get on the eyelid, if that makes sense. Not OD, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to just blend that bitch out. Your miss is the same brush that I blended the um, color corrector out with. You just want to blend it out real good so it's not no harsh lines or demarcations anywhere. So you just give it smooth. And then same thing to the other side. Okay. And then the forehead. I do like the stippling motion first and then I kinda like brush out after like So I do this under my eyes. And when I first started like doing my makeup or whatever, I used to put the concealer as close to my waterline as possible because like I didn't want like a a line of like nothing. But that was a terrible idea because it used to be so cakey in the corner of my eye. So you want to do it about like the distance I do it if you don't like like a lot of makeup or you feel like your makeup is cakey and just like blend it into your skin first like this and then after you stipple it then drag up into the inner corners and like towards the water loss but don't just place the makeup right there and try to blend because it's going to be so cakey right there for no reason and then make sure you blend out the edges Okay, and you see it's just giving real loud. So the same thing, stick it, stick it, stick it, and go up. It's like a stippled and swipe type motion. I take this blush bronzer. Huh? Huh? Yeah. So I take this bronzer, Mocha Miami, Fenty Beauty. Ooh. Not the blush, y'all. And I use it as my contour because I don't like to contour when I do like everyday makeup. So I just, and this brush is the Echo Tools. Full brush. So I just dimple and dabble. And then right on top of the cheekbone, kind of. Y'all see it. My forehead is still healing, so if y'all see like hints of black on my forehead, that's scabs. 
okay? The ones that really be in tune know what's going on. But like, that scabs right there. Just do it across my forehead. Do it like, you know how I put the concealer right here? Just blend it into that. And then, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Did y'all try to hide them from me? Mm. Okay. Thank you. And just go in like a motion. Y'all see what I did. And this adds, like, you see how that just added some color? Like, it just added some real sun kiss. But it makes sense because it's called Sun Stalker. So, after I do that, I take my banana powder. This is the shade Deep. I give it a little tap, tap, tap. Put some in the lid. I'm so annoying. <laughs> Bro, who be talking like that? Some people be talking like that when they be trying to give, like, instructions. That shit is funny. Then I take this brush. It's called the setting brush and it's real techniques. And I dip it in now. And I put it everywhere I can see it. And sometimes I press it in just a little bit. And I feel like I like using this because it adds some color. Like it adds like a, a like a little bit of color. Like it adds like a brush it off right away because it be giving Casper Casper the ghost it be giving that do y'all ever put like mascara on your fake eyelashes like not even for the purpose of like blending in with your real eyelashes but just like make them pop a little bit more my friend taught me that trick okay anyways so I take the same brush that I use the blush with purposely wipe it off Wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off. And it just erases it without... It's still looking too ashy and it's still adding a hint of the warmth. Still. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Get off the forehead. Not in my eyebrows too, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Get off the nose. And just make sure it's all gone. I feel like doing this makes... I got a line of black under my eye. Tell me how that happened. I don't know. But don't focus on that. Y'all see what it's giving. Like, y'all see it. So sometimes, like, there'll be, like, a line, like, from the powder stuck there. But don't worry, because we're going to set our face. And it's going to, like, take it away once we do that. I'm going to add some more edge control to the brows. Because they keep on moving. They keep on moving. I don't like that. But that's because I keep on, like, doing stuff. But still, I need to be dirty. brush I use for the setting powder with some Mario a good amount and then I take my highlight and this is also Fenty Beauty I don't know what shade it is or whatever because the outward like casing came off so you see how pretty that is and I just swirl it and I just keep on swirling and I keep on swirling. I do this for like a good 15 to 20 seconds just to make sure the product is on there because sometimes you get like it's stuck. 
so I thought I did enough. I turned to the side and hit the I hit where I see like the lighting hitting it. If that makes sense. Like where is the natural light hitting this area? And that's where I do it. Y'all see that? It's like subtle. But it's like still there. Like you know? Like you like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Do it where the light hitting. And then what I do is I take some more to hit the nose. Get a show the nose. Get the nose. Wipe some off and then just like brush across the forehead, under the eye, the chin. It's real light. Mm. It's giving something I love. Okay. So this is the last and final step before lip gloss. I would normally line, no I don't. I don't normally line my lips, but I did it the other day and it's cute. But y'all can tell my lips give a natural ombre. Some girl in my comments was like, your lips are like that because you use Vaseline, bitch. I mean, not to call you a bitch, I'm sorry. But I was born like this. It's just my lips. It's not because of Vaseline. But I just take some blotch on my hand because if you put too much of this, you're going to start looking kind of clownish. So this is blush, and this is the Makeup Revolution. And I use the orange, this, I don't know, I think this is the deep palette. The one, the shade closest to the darkest one, I think. I do a little smile, hit the top of my cheekbones, and then I go over the bridge of my nose. Like, I connect it, so I do this. And I like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. And then spray some more of this. And we are, wait, let me put some lip gloss on. I don't know why I'm so quick for this like to be over. I mean, so ready for this to be over. I'm not rushing y'all, but I am. Cause my friends really know me. Okay. That is the end of my everyday makeup routine. It's giving natural, but it's giving bad bitch. It's giving, you look good, but I can't tell the difference. You normally don't look like this, but you don't look different. You know what I'm saying? It's just enhancing the natural. When I learn how to do makeup for real, I guess I'll do like a beat, a real beat version, like maybe with some foundation. I don't know, foundation just be doing me dirty. It took me a while to even like get here for real, for real, y'all. Like, I see my makeup looking fucking crazy. Like, I would take that shit off immediately. Sometimes I would keep it on, but it just wasn't hitting. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I got some more wig videos, y'all. Don't be mad at me with the wig videos because this is my logic right here. Y'all know, like, I have my YouTube for a year. That's not a long time, or a little bit over a year. And I only have, what? 30 something videos right so when i had like protective hairstyles since like i'm a hair like style whatever y'all want to call it how to i mostly do hair like that's my specialty but when i did i would just not post videos because like i know what y'all want to see but i'm do i be doing wig promos now and i'm going to continue to do them because i learned how to do wigs and they're cute and my hair is still in protective style and i'm going to be posting a lot of wig videos you know what I'm saying? But don't, please don't get mad at me and be like, she's always only posting wig videos. But it's just like, if I weren't posting those videos, I wouldn't be posting anything at all. So for the people that like to see them, y'all can watch it. And I'm also getting paid for it. So I was like, why not like get money? You know what I'm saying? And post. And like further my platform with people that like seeing wigs. I know y'all like natural stuff. I like my natural hair. But mind y'all, I'm gonna do a how I got my hair out, but the key to that is protective styles. And I always used to wear braids and stuff when my hair was short because I couldn't do nothing with it. And I wasn't the type of person like force little hairstyles or try to force something. Like my hair wasn't long enough, I just wait to grow and do like braids or something. But instead of braids now, I'm still gonna wear braids too. I begin wigs. So there's gonna be lots of wig videos. So don't be mad at me and just be like, she's only doing this at a third because I would not be posting at all. And people, the OGs know I used to take like two months break, two month, two month breaks. Yeah, long breaks. So it's like, would y'all rather see this and know a girl is getting paid and also helping y'all in case y'all want to learn how to do wigs? Cause I really suggest y'all do because once y'all do that, like, and you can depend on yourself. When you want to get bad bitch, you're going to get bad bitch cause you know how to do it yourself. You feel me? 
So yeah, um, sorry for the little rant. Love y'all. Bye.